Hey, my desert homies. Just wanted to come to you and explain some things to you about another thing about tomato plants. Some of you will have some that are dying off. And this one, I've already done a lot of trimming on it. It's got a tomato coming on there and everything. But as you can see, there's still some dead stuff down here. So what I have done, and you can see here where there are stalks missing. I have a nice pair of garden shears and I have just been coming along and cutting the dead, oh that's got a good branch on it so I'll cut this one off over here. Take the dead stuff off. Get it removed. Oh, this already broke off. And get it out of the out of your way. And off of the plant. And then it's not trying to struggle and deal with trying to save any of this dead stuff. So this this vine here is still good. It does have some dead leaves on it, branches on it. You see those will just come right off. they don't then you take your shears and you just snip it off to help preserve and then because I've got a vine it's going up quite a ways there and it's got some blossoms on it and a couple of other tomatoes and everything but yeah that's all you need to do to salvage your tomato plants keep them going keep them producing for you longer and you don't have to leave this stump out here like this. You can cut it down shorter if you choose to. Let's see, it's just, yeah, just the plant there. And that helps, helps to keep the plant producing and giving the energy into the live part. So that it'll, I don't know if you could, yeah. You see those blossoms up there, those in the middle, those are from this vine. And it'll just keep keep you going in tomatoes a little bit longer. And since we're having them, supposed to be having a really mild winter this year, who knows? I may be able to keep some of these tomato plants alive and going. If so, <laughs> I gotta rethink my my garden plan for next year. Just wanted to give you that little tip. So have a great day. Be blessed.